You're listening to a community story from Be My Eyes. My name's Jennifer. I'm from Lakewood, Ohio, and I have been uh, considered legally blind uh, for the past five years. Before I lost my sight, I was a graphic artist, and I, I went to college on scholarship for drawing. So when I initially became blind, I still needed a creative outlet for myself. I tried drawing again, and I would get frustrated because how I draw now that I can't see versus how I used to draw are, are drastically different and I would get disappointed and upset with myself. I felt like I lost my identity, half, you know, a good portion of who I was. Everything I did re revolved around the visual world. I only allowed myself to go through that for about five, five months of being angry and depressed and I, I said, you know, this is how things are going to be from this point forward. You need to move forward and you need to find new ways. So I decided from that point that I needed to do something creatively that I had never tried before so that I wouldn't compare it constantly to how I was before. I started making jewelry sitting on my porch. I had a jar of beach glass and a spool of wire and I just started playing with it. And from that day forward, I, I was kind of hooked on it. Uh, jewelry making is a tactile thing for me. I can feel it with my fingers, uh, how to wrap the wire. I didn't let losing my vision stop me from my dreams, uh, my future. I just had to reinvent what that future was. Because I was a graphic artist for over 25 years, I have a very strong uh, visual knowledge base of what colors are and what colors work well with each other. The problem that I have now is that I can't see those colors anymore. Um, I, ca I can visualize it in my head, but when I'm dealing with natural gemstones, a lot of them, like for instance with amethyst, it could be a dark purple all the way up to almost translucent, and I can't see those colors. So creatively, I, I can call someone and be my eyes, and I can lay out the stones that I want to use for a necklace, and I can ask, you know, do, do all these look good together? Uh, are they cohesive and matching? It's cut a lot of time for me. It's made it a lot easier for me creatively because of that because I don't have to wait. Like before I would take a picture of something and I could wait hours before someone would call me and answer my question. Now I can get instant help. I, I can lay out several stone combinations of different colors and, and put them in groupings and get opinions and, and you know do these colors look good together. Whereas before as a graphic artist, it, it depends so much on things visually and once it's taken away, I, I was lost for a little bit, but now I find that, that I can still kind of do what I did before by using someone else's eyes. And it, it is, <clears throat> I don't know what I do with, with, without assistance. I mean, I, I love the, the independence is, is the one thing that's important with my creativity. Uh, and Be My Eyes has done that for me. It is sort of a game changer for me. Um, Be My Eyes has been in, invaluable. Uh, through my creative process. Uh, it, it takes out a lot of the weight. I, I'm able to be more productive, uh, more independent as well. I don't have to rely on family and friends to help me be creative. I'm just elated that I found this creative outlet. I started my own business called iSpire Designs. I don't know where I would be with my in my business if, if I didn't have this app to help me. Initially I, I had all been making uh, pendants and earrings out of beach glass and a friend of mine said, told me hey you know you, you could sell those. So I took her advice and with her help I signed up for a indoor show. I ended up selling out of everything I had and then uh, the money that I made, I used that uh, to buy some better materials. And it just 
exploded. Um, my creativity, the the amount of different things that I could do by by opening up to all these other materials. I, I'm still discovering new things to make and the creative process, I, I never sleep. My mind's going all the time on different things I can make. Eventually I got help from someone. They helped me set up my Etsy shop. And if if someone were to ask me, would you imagine where you would be this busy a year, year and a half ago? And I, I would not have been able to imagine how successful I have I have gotten with my Etsy shop. I'm elated that I found Be My Eyes. It has enabled me to further my business. It's made me more productive. It has helped me through my creative process. It's an, an invaluable tool for me. It has helped me tremendously in all aspects. Be My Eyes is more than just helping me match up colors and stones. It helps me with paperwork. Uh, it helps me if I'm doing research and I can't see something quite clearly. On the computer, I get help that way also with Be My Eyes. It's really become an invaluable tool for me. And the most important thing that I've learned is just to never give up. Because you really only have two choices. You can give up and do nothing, or you can dust yourself off, get up, and plow ahead and try to do the best that you can and move forward. Thank you for listening to this community story from Be My Eyes. You can share your story too. Send it to my story at be my eyes.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, download our app, or visit be my eyes.com community stories for more.